So this was cracked off and I took a screwdriver and I popped it off. And there's a few funny things about this. One is, is there was a square behind there, so I understand why they did this because you can't get to it from the back. I'll show you. It's because of the filler tube, there's this extra box, if you will, kind of blocking from going from behind. However, what's really hilarious about this is the paint is 100% shiny. It was never sanded. It never went down to metal and it never, they didn't even sand it. So this is hard as rock, but it just totally was cracked. And uh, you need to sand before you have something to stick to. <laughs> I don't know, bodywork 101 maybe. So kind of funny, but uh, yeah, this is hard as rock. So here's our nice test panel. Um, you know, this panel definitely, especially down here, moves a lot. So, and there's enough layers of paint on here that, uh, you know, this will take forever. And however, I really like what it does to the metal, like it gets a nice little etch. Um, so, because I got some major long panels, and you know, I'm sitting there saying, well, you know, if it takes two hours to do one side, then that's two hours done, you know what I mean? Like, just move forward. Um, but I think I want to use some paint remover, so I'm gonna buy some paint remover and see how well that goes. Because that, you just kind of sludge on and then saran wrap and then wait 30 minutes and just pull it off, scrape it off. So, so we'll see. But, and then over here, you know, a lot of Bondo in here, uh, but not as bad as the other side. Uh, the other thing I found was two little pinholes Let's see what that looks like. It's right behind that panel. So those need to be filled in. The other thing you could see is water damage came through here. Now the original Ford logo was, or uh, I think this was a Falcon logo, is put in here. But you know, there's no, uh, at least I didn't see any, um, you know, foam weatherproofing, if you will, to, to do that. So that's something that I'll take notice as I'm putting new stuff back on. Um, here's our FORD right here. Same type of thing. Not bad on this side, seems to be okay. However, there is some water here and uh, I doubt that came from the windows unless that's recent. So, it's kind of what we're looking at. 
it's a process. So we got our carb, we got our uh, windshield washer motor, turn signal, got the side step, got the intake, heater, more windshield washer stuff, instrument panel, instrument panel, instrument panel, headlights, defroster valves, seat belts, glove box, antenna, dash pad. It's all coming together. Or I should say it's all it's all coming apart. <laughs> it's all coming apart. Floor panel. New Y exhaust. Alright, so we got some goodies that came in. These are the gaskets that go on the floor for the pedals to go through like your clutch and brake. So that's really good. Uh, over here we have front door handles. So I'm going to test one of those out in a second. Over here we have the turn signal parking light lens. We have a brake pedal rubber that goes on there. Another, that's the clutch and brake. And then we have what I thought was just uh, rubber is actually the whole gas pedal. So, interesting. We have another lens. We have gaskets for our little lenses. This is a uh, glove box door bumper. So that goes on the side, so when the door closes, it stops. And we have a bunch of inside door handles, all brand new chrome, not pitted, so that's really nice. And then we also have the official brake handle. Mine is all cracked and destroyed. Um, this is one of those things that I believe I'll be using, but don't know until we get there because I might switch it out to electronic situation or something. Um, you know, I did that on my 33 and I didn't go with like a prescribed system. I created my own and it works totally fine, but it'd be nice if you could actually program a computer to do it and it'd be, I'd feel a little better about it. So you're not over cranking the system. But I'm going to take this and go verify that it looks right and uh, take it out to the car. Uh, but, yeah, so we're starting to bring stuff in so it doesn't go out of production or disappear on me while I'm in the middle of uh, uh, deciding what to do with the van. So I'm looking at these handles. And when I kind of get it lined up. Hard to see on camera here, but it's definitely, definitely a little smaller. The distance is pretty good. Like if I put this tip to tip over here, hold on. If I put this tip to tip, we're definitely smaller than that side. So. I'm sure it'll be fine, and I'll make a comment about it, but uh, noticing just a slight difference, but you know, definitely looks a little nicer than that. I think so.
So we are working on, we got everything out of the lights. Got rid of my horns that were right there. Got rid of a bracket that was for license plates, which I don't need here. And of course got this side. Um, haven't really figured out this little rubber thing here, but I pulled the wires individually out. Don't know if I'm keeping that. This seems to be quasi welded in um, with like, I don't know, seam sealer or something. I think that's kind of what some of this stuff sticking out is, but I could be wrong. Um, if I can pull those out, I might, and then re-seam seal them back in. So that's all good. And then I've been working more back here. Got the bumper off, got the gas tank out. That was a big deal. And I finally found the token 100 pound plate that they add in the back of the vehicle basically to sandbag it because it's a front engine car and so all the weight's up there and so on ice and snow and stuff or even sand or whatever this has no traction so they put this extra 100 pound plate so it was cool to finally see that after taking off the uh, the gas tank but uh, yeah, got our gas line, breather tube. Uh, it's just two brackets on the gas tank and then it comes right off. I'm not really sure what that is yet. And I see there's not one on that side, it's something different. So I don't know what's going on there. Seems like there's some kind of tape that they put on the gas tank. So maybe it's not statically skidding back and forth, vibrating, I'm not sure. So, going pretty good. Um, I haven't really figured out what's going on over here. Um, that looks like it's part of the door latch, but it's plastic, which is weird. Uh, I don't know why this is not finished. And I'm not sure why they routed the wires underneath when they could have done it from the top coming down and just called it a day. But uh, it'd be cool to possibly move the license plate over here and get rid of all this but we're not there yet oh I see there's bumpers interesting never seen that before so I'm learning all sorts of stuff as we're going through like how do you get a dent in the back of your car when there's a bumper in front of it I don't know I ordered some paint remover today so we're gonna try doing that and uh Spots like this that, you know, there's no no magnetism, but there's magnetism here. It's very weak. So I think I'm going to be grinding out a lot of stuff here. More than I thought I would. And I don't know if they did all the body work at the same time, but <laughs> they didn't sand the other paint before they put the stuff over it so it's not sticking to anything so we definitely have to strip this down 100 percent yeah yeah there's definitely a lot of body work going on so looks like we're gonna have more body work than i thought i was gonna have but uh Interesting. I think there's going to be body work in places that I would never expect body work to be. It almost makes you wonder if the pattern like anywhere the paint is sticking is good and anywhere the paint didn't stick is not good. Not sure how it permeates through the layers like that but 
That would mean I have a lot of body work. <laughs> we will see. So, all in all, good day today. Till next time, have a great day.